Hey, good morning. Let's go over today's trade plan. So in the overnight session, we saw a breakout above the recent three-day balance and holding above 90 half to 92 half would leave that breakout intact. On the upside, we have resistance at 2103 to 2105 quarter, followed by the 2106 half high volume node. And then we have the all-time high and the resistance zone at 2108.75 to 2110.75. Right now, the main event that is in play and in the news is the um, UK referendum on whether they'll be staying in the European Union or leaving. And uh, this overnight move uh, is news driven. So we do have to be careful, even though buyers are dominant and in control, we want to be cautious because there could be more news driven movement throughout the day. So holding above 90 half to 92 half, we know that buyers are in control, but we could still get sellers active at the 2103 to 2105 quarter initial resistance, the 2106 half high volume node, and then we have the big resistance at 0875 to 1075. And more than likely, the market will still establish a balance as it tests those resistance zones, and we could even drop right back down into the recent three-day range. So right now, the question is whether this breakout is really going to hold, given that it's primarily news-driven, and throughout the day, we can still get some uh, you know, news-driven volatility, which can quite easily drive the market right back down into the recent three-day balance. On the downside, below 90 half, we have support at 83 to 85, which marks the overnight low. And then below that, we have support at 76 to 78, which is the gap fill in the previous VPOC. And um, then finally, the recent three-day balance area low at 69 half to 71 half, which we're going to continue using as the bull bear zone. But you know, it's pretty far away, so it's not going to be as relevant uh, just yet. So, um, you know, for now, we're going to focus on the zones that are in play and that are close by. So initial resistance, initial support, and then the two support zones below. And um, in the event that we fail up here, first test of 76 to 78 can still attract buyers. The bull bear zone can still attract buyers. And then, of course, if that area doesn't hold, uh, then that would mark a shift from buyers being in control to now sellers being in control. So right now heading into the open, you know, the buyers are dominant, they are in control. And, um, you know, we could get some continued balancing here, and then a test of the 03 to 05 quarter, um, you know, that could be a good short setup on first test, 0650 high volume node is a good spot where sellers can be active. And then the market can continue to balance within a range, the final votes for the uh, referendum aren't really going to be in until uh, later on tonight. So, um, you know, we're not actually going to know the results until pretty late into uh, the Globex session Thursday night, Friday morning. So today, you know, most likely is going to be another day of continued balancing. Now, where that balancing takes place is something we'll have to uh, determine off the open. If we're holding 90 half to 92 half, then perhaps we balance at higher prices and we go up and test initial resistance. If we fail at 90 half to 92 half, you know, then we can balance in the recent range. And, um, uh, you know, at that point, again, the market would be left range bound. And then once the results are in, we can probably get some, you know, some better volatility and directional movement. But like I said, that's not going to happen until um, later on tonight and early Friday morning. So, you know, given that it is a news driven environment, it makes sense to be more selective today you know, not be overly active or aggressive, um, focus on getting good trade location. And if uh, you're not getting it, then just skip the trade and just wait, you know, then it's not even a real trade setup. So if the market's not allowing you to get in at a price point that allows you to get at least two times your risk that allows you to manage your risk correctly, then just wait. Um, you know, this news event is going to be one or two days, and then it's over and then the market will return to uh, you know, a little more normalcy and, you know, then we'll just take it from there. So um, if today means, you know, that we're not able to spot any good enough trade idea, then that's perfectly fine. Um, you know, no trading is better than taking, you know, highly risky trades where the reward to risk is not really in your favor. So we are going to be open to long and short setups today, uh, but we have to get decent trade location on either side uh, because right now, with this uh, expanded volatility and news-driven environment, you know, it doesn't make sense to get overly aggressive. 
So those are the main ideas heading into the open. Let's see if this uh, you know breakout remains intact, and we'll take it from there.